Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're looking at a new resin. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right, now, we were recently sent some new resin to test. Um, it's called Acidity, I think I've got that right. Acidity, Acidity. Hopefully that's right. Right, it comes, we got sent two tires. So same resin, two different containers. So it comes in a one litre bottle, but it also comes in a refill bag. Now, this I really like, really like. Um, it's got a spout on it, easy to pour. You can refill, you can refill bottles with it. So if you've got a, um, a auto top up, and it takes a particular type of bottle, refill your bottle. Um, this stuff I actually really liked. Um, it's 8K resin, but it's very, very thin. Like very, very viscous. So, potentially should be able to get very, very good detail low down because it's so viscous and thin, you should be able to get real good details. Now, usually when people test resin, they do minis. I didn't do that this time. Um, I thought, if we're gonna test it, let's test it on some of the stuff that we usually do. So, what I've got here is I've got a, uh, a type of Warhammer tank that's not a Warhammer tank, that's from a place where I got some files and mixed them together. What I've also got here is Indiana Jones. Now James is currently doing a big Indiana Jones model, so we printed Indiana Jones. Now this was all done on the Frozen Mega. Because this resin's black, it can be hard to see detail. So what I've done is with the tank, I've primed it. So that when you get a close up look at these, um, you'll be able to see the detail that's in it a lot easier than if it was all black, because it can be quite hard to show detail on an all black resin print. So before we go any, any further, let's take a close up look at what we've done. Right, so here we have the tank. Now, you can see there is a lot of detail in this. So, yeah, again, the reason I primed this is so that you could see it. It's come out really well. So this is a, I think, Bane Blade tank done in the style of Chaos Army, which you've seen before, I'm printing and painting a Chaos Army. So again, the tank body was one piece, the turret was one piece, and then these missile launchers were separate as well. It was made up from three files that I found. So again, yeah, this came out really well. So here we have Indiana Jones, he's not glued together. So I'll quickly take him apart, but you can see, it's hard to see, so I'm gonna prime this in a minute, just so you can see a little better, but this is it unprimed. So, as you can see, we've now primed the head, and you can see how good the quality is that's come out of that. Really nice. It's got a hole in the hat there, that's part we think where the whip attaches. But yeah, that came out really nice. So we've got Indy's body, his jacket spewing out. You'll see there's some scratches on this, just where we've been dry fitting stuff. But printed really well, all the details there. It, you know, 
came out really, really nice. Really nice. And you've got other bits like you've got his legs, but you've got these ropes. Now, these are quite thin, you can see by how much they bend. Um, took up a large area and all, so this one pretty much maxed out a lot of the mega build plate just because of how many angles are in it and stuff like that. So this was printed on its own. Um, but, yeah, came out really nice, really nice. So we've got other bits, like we've got the whip again. It's a very long, multiple angle, thin part there. Printed perfect. We've got his hands. They came out lovely. Right, as you can see there, this tank is detailed. It's... um. It came out really nice. So this is for the Warhammer people. I think is based on a Bane Blade tank. Maybe. It's big. It's heavy. It's hollowed, but this is heavy. Um, there's a lot to this. So this was printed in parts. Um, the main tank body was one piece. The turret gun on the top was another piece. And then the two missile launchers they were printed separately and put on there so this was made up of three different files that i basically just sort of kit bashed together and made myself a cool chaos tank now indy um he's come out really nice um there's a few scratches on him you'll see but that's really where we've been test fitting make sure everything goes together obviously you can see it hasn't been primed but like some of the pieces, like the rope that goes around the base, um, that came out really nice, really detailed. And you've got like bits of the whip, which is a very thin piece. Um, the Mega, obvious, the Frozen Mega obviously did really well. It, you know, very rarely lets you down. And when it does, it's, it's usually my fault. But um, no, this came out really nice. Is Everything on this came out spot on. Um, I really do like this resin. Um, this is one I would continue using. One thing I did notice is it is quite strong smelling. Um, most of the resin printing I do, I tend to use um, Sunlu. Um, it's one of the cheapest. Um, and no matter what colour you use, same settings. You can mix all the colours together. If you've only got bits left in bottles, you can mix it together. Stuff like that. Um, but I would use this resin. I just noticed it's a little bit stronger smelling than Sun Louis. This final piece here, this was the last piece that was done. I actually didn't quite have enough of the acidity resin left. So I just poured some... I've got party bottles. Party bottles are bits of everything all mixed in. So it can be frozen 8K, frozen 4K, Sunlu Grey, Sunlu Black, um, Sunlu Clear Green. Whenever I've just got bits of bottles left, because a printer like the Mega takes a lot of resin. If you've got like a quarter of a bottle, it's not going to do anything. It's, it's not even going to cover the bottom. So what I tend to do is I just put them all into a party bottle. And no matter what, how many resins I mix into the, in together and put in the Mega or the Mighty, they just print. They just come out spot on. So, if you can, get your hands on some of this. It is visibly thinner resin than what you're used to. When you pour this out, it's like, it's like milk. Like, you think to yourself... Not sure about this, but it prints unbelievably well. Like, I really do like this. Um, there's a group on Facebook for this resin. It's pretty new to the market. They've got other colours as well and different resin types. Um, the ones they sent us was the 8K Black. And if I can get more of this, 
I'm a hundred percent going to be using this. Um, we've got a couple of things that we've got coming up, like some other big models. Um, one of which some I've got to print for James again, um, because he tends to sometimes just say, "Oh, I need to borrow the Mega, so can you put these prints on for me?" Which can take a long time, depending on how big the model is he's doing, because he's obsessed with doing everything 200%. I am not now because I just don't have the room to store it. If you see behind the camera, you'll see there's a whole racks of large models where neither of us have got room to store them. So, you know, but if you can get hold of some of this resin, I really liked it. I am actually going to buy some more of this. Um, it's 8K resin, and although I do love Frozen's 8K resin, there is a stark price difference between this and the Frozen 8K resin. And I'm going to get some more to do some miniatures, because when we've tested the Frozen 8K mini um, resin before, we've done a lot of miniatures and stuff like that, to see if you can see the difference in the resin. So I am going to get some more of this, and I'm going to do a few miniatures, just so I can compare side by side, because I've got some miniatures that were done in the Frozen 8K and 4K, put aside, so I am going to buy more of this so that I can do some more testing. But personally, I think this might just have it. So, trust me, if you can get some of this, bag it, or get it in a bag, either way. Um, grab yourself some and try it out. You will not be disappointed. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.